desperate to see the kingdom of God break into our lives. We cry out to you with all the Jesus talked a lot about prayer. We have to remember that Jesus himself prayed all the time. He lived a lifestyle of prayer. His, his life exemplified a life of absolute dependency upon God. And his disciples saw him praying and it was because of this that they asked Jesus, teach us to pray. What they were really saying was, we want to learn how to pray the way you do. And Jesus gave them a model prayer. I believe that this is a prayer that Jesus himself would have prayed of course, Jesus is without sin, but at the same time, he identifies with sinful mankind. But Jesus wants us to understand that prayer is not just a mannerism, it's not just a formula, it's not just a ritual, it's not something we do as, as just a habit, although there is a discipline to prayer. He teaches us about the persistence of prayer. And Jesus gives a parable in Luke 11, beginning in verse 5. He gives an example of a friend who comes to his neighbor's house and he asks, he says, you know, he wakes him up at midnight and he says, I've got a guest who's come from out of town. He needs some food. My, I'm all out of food. Could you give me some bread for my guest? And his friend is already in bed. He says, hey friend, I'm, I'm sleeping. My kids are here with me. I just, please, I, I'm sorry. Can it wait till tomorrow? And uh, he says, you, know, you can understand. You're gonna wake up my whole household. In those days, in, in that culture, the family all slept together on mats in one room together. So the kids would have been there. It would have been so disruptive. And yet Jesus says, even though his friend, he's even though he's his friend, he won't help him. But because of his persistence, he just keeps knocking. He keeps banging on the door, keeps asking. And finally, this friend says, "Oh, now I'm getting angry." I, you know, I asked him nicely, he won't go away. He's my friend, but I'm getting upset, but I'm just gonna give him what he wants just to make him go away. And he gets up and he gives him what he wants because of his friend's persistence. Now, what is Jesus telling us? Is he saying God is that way? God's gonna get angry and just give us what we want to make us go away? No, this is in, we have to understand this is a, a, a means of teaching that many rabbis used in this time. It, it would be if, this is true, then how much more is this true? And so by contrast, Jesus is explaining to us, even if human beings will give you what you want because of your persistence, they may not even give it to you even though you're good friends. But because of persistence, your persistence will pay off. If that's true humanly speaking, how much more will God gladly give you what you ask in His name according to His will when you persist in prayer. And so Jesus is teaching us about the discipline of prayer. Keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking. Don't give up. If you know it's God's will, you're not asking for a Ferrari or for you know something wasteful now. Of course, you know, God can do whatever He wants. But if it's something that's good, if it's something according to His will, if it's something you're praying not for selfish purposes. Remember the Bible says you ask amiss because you seek to you ask to consume it upon your own selfish desires. That's not praying according to God's will. But if we are truly praying, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven in my life. If you pray that prayer, pray it persistently. Jesus says you may ask what you will and it will be given to you. It will be done for you. So Jesus teaches us, ask and it shall be given to you. Not maybe, it shall. It's guaranteed by Jesus. Again, praying according to his will, not to consume it upon our own selfish desires. And the word ask here is in the continuous tense. Ask and keep asking and keep asking and keep asking and keep asking. Knock and keep knocking, keep knocking, keep knocking. This is a, this is a principle of prayer. He says, seek and keep seeking, keep seeking. Don't stop seeking. You, you know, we, we hear a lot about, you know, being seeker sensitive. You know, we want to be sensitive to those seeking God. Well, what is it to be a real seeker? What is a real seeker? A seeker is someone who is genuinely 
persisting in seeking. There's a persistence to seeking. Seek and seek and seek and you will find. Jesus is talking about this in the context of prayer. Everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks finds. Everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Yes, I will lie down in peace and sleep.